All right, so now we're going to solve this quadratic using the quadratic formula. First thing I'm going to do is get everything to one side. 5x squared minus 18x. I'm subtracting 8 from both sides. And that shows up as a minus 8 on this side. Notice our coefficients, the a term, the b term, and the c term. A, B, and C. We use this with the quadratic formula. If you remember, negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. I'm going to rewrite what I just wrote, but I'll put in the numbers in the appropriate place. Negative B would be positive 18. B squared is negative 18 squared gives us a positive 324 minus 4 times the a term which is 5 times the c term which is negative 8 all over twice the a term which would be 10 now the next part is simplifying 18 plus or minus square root all right I have 324 minus 4 times 5 times negative 8. If I do 4 times 5, I get 20. 20 times negative 8 is negative 160. I have minus a negative 160, which is really 324 plus 160, giving us 484. And remember, we're still over 10. 44 is a perfect square. The square root of 484 is 22. 18 plus or minus 22 all over 10. Let's simplify that further. Let's do the 18 plus 22 possibility. That would be 40 and that's still over 10. Now if I do 18 minus 22 I get a negative number and that negative number is 4. 18 minus 22 is 4 and I'm still over the 10. I will now simplify those two terms, 4 or negative 2 fifths. And those are our two answers using the quadratic formula.